Global City. So, Global City is a city that is primarily nude in the global economic network. The concept comes from geography and urban studies and from the idea that globalization is created and fathered in strategic, geographic, localists according to a hierarchy of their importance to the operation of the global system of finance and trade. So the next one is what is global city and examples. In the West, several international cultures and communities such as Chinatown, A Little Italy or other immigrant communities. In other parts of the world, cities which attract large foreign businesses and related ex expatriate communities, for example, Singapore, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Tokyo, and Moscow. Next, what city is a global city? Lon so, cities including London, New York, Paris, Rome, and Tokyo are one of the most well-known global cities as it provides global competitiveness for its citizens and companies. So these are only several ways in which a city can be considered as a global city. There are also three global cities. So these are New York, London, and Paris that maintain their decade-long dominance as the top three cities in the Global Cities Index or GCI. So what makes a city a global city? A global city is a city of demographic and economic change. It contains international organizations, different firms such as law firms, headquarters for the multinational countries, as well as stock exchanges that influence the world's economy. What is the difference between world city and global city? A world city is seen in terms of powerful politics, development of trade, culture, and education. While the global city is considered to be a center which includes not only trade, influential political activity, educational and cultural attributes, but also located in their headquarters of TN, TNCS and international. How do you identify a global city? So there are two ways on how to identify a global city. So the first one is a variety of international financial services, notably in finance, insurance, real estate, banking, accountancy, and marketing. And the second one is headquarters of several multinational corporations. So what are the characteristics that self-define a global city? So the first one is home to major stock exchanges and indexes. The second one is influential in international political affairs. The third one is home to world-renowned world cultural institutions. Next, is service a major media hub. Fifth is large mass transit networks. Six is home to a large international airport, and the last one is having a prominent skyline. So those are the characteristics that help define a global city. That would be all. Thank you, ma'am.